as assaults on Indian Army foundations proceed with the most recent being in Kupwara region of Jammu and Kashmir. The legislature is yet to discharge essential assets for updating security at safeguard foundations as recommended by a council that was framed after a year ago's assault on the Patankat Air Base, educated sources said. As indicated by exceedingly set sources, according to the rules issued on the premise of a report of an advisory group under previous Army Vice Chief, Lt. Gen. Philip Campos, Rs. 2000 Crawer, over $310 million, must be given for upgrading security at safeguard foundations more than two years. Of this, a large portion of the cash, that is Rs 1000 crore, should be given for this present year. Be that as it may, there has not been any designation by the Defense Ministry up until this point. The fringe security at numerous army camps is somewhat basic, there are spiked metal perimeters, Tin sheets are put on the wall at spots so that any development may make a commotion and alarm the watchman. These spiked wires are extremely fundamental and not adequate for insurance, particularly in forward territories, an armed force officer who did not have any desire to be named, told Ians. Indeed, even the lighting is fundamental, in addition to most camps and foundations have thick vegetation around. This gives fear-based oppressors a decent den, the officer included. Representational Picture Tire Presentational Picture PTI The Panjgam Armed Force Camp in Kapwara area, which was assaulted on 27 April, had a two-layered spiked metal perimeter, which the fear-based oppressors figured out how to get through. Three troopers were murdered and seven were harmed, while two fear-based oppressors were likewise slaughtered. The Indian Air Force construct in Patankat was assaulted with respect to 2nd of January, 2016. Terminating and searching operations continued for no less than four days, leaving seven security faculty and one regular citizen dead and 37 security workforce and one non-military personnel harmed. Every one of the four psychological oppressors, who were from Pakistan, were murdered. The Campos Board of Trustees, with three army officers and one officer reach from the IAF and the Navy, was framed on February 8. It presented its investigate May 20, 2016. Therefore, rules were issued to all Resistance Foundation on upgrading security in light of its proposals. The suggestions included incorporated reaction by the three administrations through a planned component and overhauling the Defense Security Corps, DSC. A standard working technique, SOP, on the security of safeguard foundations was declared, and the foundations were partitioned into various classifications in view of risk recognition. There are around 600 CATA foundations, the most elevated classification, around 1,000 each in CAT B and CAT C, and 200 in CAT D, as indicated by sources. Short, mid and long haul measures were prescribed. The transient measures included edge security and get to control by solidifying border wall, lighting, interruption cautions and observation cameras. The long-haul measures included establishment of innovation-based security framework, situating a very much prepared, furnished and prepared quick reaction teams, QRTs, at high-risk and high-need army installations, and direct of intermittent security reviews in different foundations. Other long-haul measures included development of limit dividers and setting up top-of-the-line present-day security framework in a staged way, for which extra finances are required. For the fleeting measures, the armed force was to utilize its own particular supports thus far Rs 300 crore has been spent, the sources said. Be that as it may, the protection service has not discharged any assets up until this point. The center has not given any assets for upgrading security foundation up until this point. Armed force has spent from its own particular assets, however the long-haul measures require more cash, the officer said. In the as of late finished up spending session of parliament, a parliamentary board on resistance had wrapped the legislature for not taking any solid measures taking after dread assaults at Uri, Patankat and different spots.
the board said it was exasperates to take note of the clear absence of earnestness with respect to the safeguard service and wanted that the circumstance ought to enhance, including that vital measures ought to be taken to guarantee that interruptions don't repeat. Later in a similar session, in a composed answer in the Lok Sabha, Minister of State for Defence Subhash Bamra said guidelines for security of defence installations had been issued, 